The final step in tuning your motor is to tune the carburetor. Uh, right now we're looking at an SNS carburetor and I'm pointing at the idle airspeed screw. This is what we're going to use when we, when we, when we fine tune the carburetor. Coming down, I'll show you where the idle airspeed is on a can and that's located right here up at the top. And if you have a Zenith or a Bendix, it's to the rear of your carburetor. Now the procedure that you'll follow is that as you start your motor and have it sufficiently warmed and it's sitting at, a, at, at an, an idle um, great enough to where it's not stumbling and under a thousand RPM, slowly turn in the idle air speed screw until the motor begins to drop off. Note the position of the, of the flat of the screw and begin to unscrew it until the RPM picks up again and then falls off. If you've turned the screw one and a half turns, then you'll want to back the screw back in one half of that distance, which is three quarters of a turn. At this point, you can fine tune it an eighth of a turn in either direction to suit your particular riding style. This is a very easy procedure and at first you may have trouble with it so review these instructions and try it again. You'll find that your bike will run a lot better and it will complement all the work that you've just done. You notice that after the motor smoothed out that I had to readjust the idle. That should be actually the very final adjustment that you have to make. The fine tuning of the idle air screw is just so that I can either add a little uh, richness to it or lean it out a little more according to the performance of the motorcycle. If you do this step, just as, uh, this procedure just as I showed you, you'll find that it'll just add tremendous amounts of power to the motor and it'll really complement the work that you've done.